Hey dressage fans, I'm about to make a video that I never actually thought I would have to make or need or want to make. Anyway, we are going to talk about stupid dressage divas. So, dear stupid dressage divas, now I know as far as my fans go, most of these riders are not you. However, if one of these people is your friend or family member, it is time for an intervention. If you signed the petition to shut down Dressage Hub on Facebook, started by Jane Doe with spelling mistakes because a 70 year old woman who barely knows how to turn on a computer told you it was legit, you need to go back to school and learn about critical thinking. As dressage riders, we tend to think of ourselves as smart and educated and sophisticated and actually even the stats on dressage riders say that they're smart and educated. So my question is today, how did this fake news propaganda get signed by 150 so-called intelligent people? Now first of all, I don't think this was a complete waste of time. I've been trying to ramp up the anti-bullying campaign in the dressage community for a long, long time. And these guys did a bang up job. They did such a great job of like the anti-bullying movement and really getting the awareness out there. So kudos to you. You've done something that I was not able to accomplish. I needed more riders on board really to get the movement going. So thank you to those riders who have done that. Now, there was, for those of you who don't know, a couple weeks ago, a petition to shut down Dressage Hub on Facebook. Uh, okay, let's start by saying Dressage Hub is a YouTube channel, so shutting them down on Facebook is a bit of a stupid thing to do because it really actually does nothing. I also, for those of you who are fans, have pages on Tumblr and Twitter and Pinterest and Snapchat. So anybody who did a little research before signing the petition of what is in fact fake news or understands critical thinking would have done a little research. So I did my own research. Lucky for me, it usually gets sent right to me and I don't have to do a lot of work for this. Now, this petition was started by this group. It is Dressage Hub Exposed Wacko Witch. Way to play on my last name like Junior High, Wacko Witch. Who would have ever thought about that? Hmm, Junior High girls? Good for you. Good. Uh, then, there's about 100 people in that group, and the group is, what they don't know is I'm actually inside the group, they just don't know that. Inside this group, there's over 100 people, and not one of them actually did enough research to find out that Facebook will actually not shut down a page based on a petition. It's only ever happened once in the history of Facebook. It had 300,000 petitions, which would be the entire world of dressage to get that, and it was for cat punching, which is actual animal use. In this case, we are talking about two videos that Susan Jacoma didn't like posted about her. That is 0.5% of my videos on Dressage Hub and YouTube. So, with that said, 99.5% of Dressage Hub's videos were actually, wait, educational, which takes me to my next point. Maybe some of you writers felt that it was okay to sign this petition because it was anonymous. Well, guess what? I have screenshots of almost everything. I just put a screen record on and watched the numbers and names go by. If you signed it and you signed anything, actually, if I walked up to you and said, I'm James Doe, would you give me your email address? That's the first problem. But the second problem is if you actually signed this thinking and not, it's anonymous, it's not. So I have a complete list of all the people who signed it, as does Jane Doe. Now, if Jane Doe is smart, she's going to go sell your email addresses, which is the only possible positive outcome that could come from this petition, because it really was a petition to ramp up hate and animosity towards Dressage Hub, because they clearly don't know that sending it to Facebook will be a waste of time and resources. So they had one goal in mind, and maybe they did know it was a waste of time and resources, in which case they were ramping up a bullying campaign and a defamation campaign towards me and Dressage Hub. Hmm. Bring me to my next point, which Heather Blitz actually hopped on board saying I have a cease and desist letter. I don't know from who. I asked them to resend it because I clearly don't have one. If you're throwing adult-sized temper tantrums over one video that you don't like, boo-hoo. 
So if any of your friends shared that petition or signed it, Dressage Hub fans, here's what I have to say. Take them aside, teach them about critical thinking, teach them how to research, and teach them what to do when they find fake news. I actually got a lot of views out of it, so for me this petition was completely harmless and actually benefited me. So now that we've covered that, that it was completely useless and a waste of everyone's time for, by Jane Doe, let's carry on sharing the awesome Dressage Hub videos that are educational and informative for the rest of the world.